Welcome to Corey's Conscious Living. Hi guys. Do you want to be in the cat club? Do you know what the cat club is? Heidi, Cherry and Vea have an exclusive club for members to come and join. It's $7 a month. Every 7th of the month you get three exclusive Heidi, Cherry and Vea stories that only you get to listen to. No one else that's not in the club gets to get these stories, so they're very special. If you want to know more about it, get a guardian or your mum and dad to help you to look at the link below the video to check out the cat club. Namaste, my little friend. Enjoy your story. Are you ready? to meditate with Kari? Are you ready for the bestest Halloween you've ever, ever had? We don't want a scary Halloween. We don't want a too dark and creepy Halloween. We want just the right type of Halloween with a little bit of magic and a little bit of sweet candy and a little bit of witchery poo. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were all dressed up as witches. They'd been planning their outfit for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Even though all three of them were witches, they all had their own personalities and flair mixed in with their outfits. Heidi was dressed a bit like a school teacher witch. She'd been researching different spell books and actual books in history about witches and Salem and black cats and all the things that you think about at Halloween. She had a book that she got from a second-hand bookstore and it was called The Spells of Nazareth. Apparently, Nazareth was a very, very old, ancient witch, and she had lots of magical spells in her book. Heidi was really excited about her outfit, her book. She had her glasses on. She had an apron on that she had an apple in it, and she had a black feather in one of the pockets, and she also had some glitter that was black in a tube, And that was like, she was going to pretend that the glitter was magical sprinkle dust in one of her made-up spells. Vera had gone a completely different way. She was dressed, of course, you would think a princess witch. But no, she actually dressed like a royal queen witch. It was like a witch's outfit mixed with like a really grand, large, puffy, black satin dress. So she looked like a queen, but also like a witch. And she had a long black veil that came down the front of her witch's hat. It was very dramatic, very, very veil. And then Cherry was dressed as a zombie witch. And what she did, which, which she thought was very, very funny, was... She, like, sewed all different scary things to her outfit, like plastic eyeballs and, like, an old chewed-up rat that was like a plastic rat. It wasn't a real rat. She'd also put some witchy magic in there and she'd tied on and sewed on some different crystals onto her outfit. But she was like a zombie witch, so she had fake blood dripped all over her dress and she thought it was super cool. They were still in the house. They'd not actually gone outside yet to start to trick or treat. When Heidi suggested that maybe they should do a spell, like a pretend spell, you know, some kind of Halloween magic spell. Maybe there was something in her book. She was very excited about using her book. She was flipping through the pages and she stopped on a page that said, a witch needs height. To take flight. It was a flying spell. Her eyes got really big 
she peered over the top of her glasses and looked at Vea and Cherry. Would you guys like to fly this Halloween? Cherry said. What? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, when did you start to ask silly questions? Fly? Of course I'd like to fly. That sounds absolutely amazing. That sounds like absolutely redonkulous, like the bestest thing I've ever heard. Who wouldn't want to be dressed like a zombie witch and, and not be able to fly? I want to fly. <gasps> Can you imagine what we could do if we could fly? We could like, <gasps> you know what we could do? We could take all the candy from the house, right? And if we were flying witches, we could ha 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 and fly over houses. And we could drop candy down on everyone from above. We could like fly to all his friends' houses. And we could like fly and ha ha. Ah, do like a witch hackle and then and then they would come outside and then and then we would go happy halloween and we would, could we could drop candy down on them and it would be like raining candy and that would be so cool like that would be like the bestest bestest coolest halloween ever yeah i want to fly duh Vaya said mm, can we really do that heidi said well it's in my book and on the next page, it says, Oh, 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 no. Cherry said, What? What? Heidi said, Well, part of the ingredients that you need in the spell to make the spell, to make the magical spell that would make us fly, is stardust. What? said Cherry. Stardust? How are we supposed to get stardust? You mean like real stardust? Like dust of a star? How are we supposed to do that if we can't fly? I would think that that, that, that spell would be on the page before the one that says you can fly. Because, I mean, it, uh, hello? First, we need a spell that helps us to figure out how we actually get the stardust from a star. And then, once we've got the stardust, then we would use it in our spelly witchy poo ingredients. And then we would mix it in our cauldron. Oh, it's going to be so cool. We're going to mix it in our cauldron, which we can use one of mum's cooking bowls and a wooden spoon. And, and you know, then what? Then what? Then when we mixed it and we do our magical spell out of Heidi's second-hand, very, very old, dusty witch book, then it would work. But you can't have stardust needed in a spell and then the spell is on the next page. That doesn't make any sense. Silly old witch. She got all the book the wrong way around. Heidi said, well, you know, actually reading the steps of what you need to do to get stardust sounds very similar to the black glitter I have in my pocket. Vea said, I, mm, I don't think stardust would be very much like black glitter, Heidi. Heidi said, yeah, that's true, but what if we used our own imagination and our own magic to pretend, because pretending is very, 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 very witchy pooey, you know, we could pretend that the black stardust had fell down from a star and we collected it off the back garden. And as we collected it, the stardust whispered gently to us, I'm stardust. Collect me, I'm very, very special. Cherry said, oh, 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 Heidi, you have such a good imagination. You know, I could do that. Can you do that, Vaya? I could do that. I can pretend that the black glitter that you have in your pocket is very, very, very stardusty. And you know what? If I put that black glitter up to my heart and I put some heart magic in it and I say, do, do, do. Abracadabooboo, mini shalam deloo, vegetables. Then that puts magical power that is very stardusty into the black glitter. And that's it. That's all we need. Vaya said, well, is that what we have to say? Because I can't remember what you just said. Cherry said, no, no, because it's done because I have enough magic for everyone. 
No, and I don't know what I said anyway. Can't remember. So, it must have been good. I do remember something about vegetables. But, you know, I think stars have vegetables on them. I think stars grow all sorts of stuff. I think, actually, stars have palm trees on them. It's just that we, we're so far away, we can't even see it. So, I like to imagine my stars with palm trees and vegetables. Anyway, and if anybody has anything to say about that, then I shall just say... Go and use your imagination somewhere else, please, because my imagination likes vegetables and palm trees on stars. And anyway, yeah, listen, listen, listen. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. What other ingredients does it have in it? The, 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 the thing, the thing, the spell. Heidi, what other ingredients does it have? Heidi put one of her paws on the book and she started moving it down the page and listing off all the different ingredients. Stardust. The heart of a cat. Everyone paused. Cherry said, OMG, this is terrible. Heidi said, no, no, not a physical heart. Not like a real heart from a cat. That would be awful. I think it just means we have to put our heart into it. Like, not literally, like our real hearts. No, like our feelings. We have to put our feelings from our heart into the spell. <gasps> Goodness, OMG, I'm so frightened then. I was like, oh, this is way too real. This is way too scary. I don't like it. I like, like, play magic. Don't want real, like, scary stuff or anything like that. I can definitely put my heart into it. <laughs> now it's not my real heart, that is. Okay, what else? Heidi said again. Stardust. The heart of a cat. Cinnamon. Oh, we have Cinnamon said Cherry. It's in Kitchen Cupboard. I'll go get it. Oh, wait, wait, read the rest then, there because, because there might be something else from the Kitchen Cupboard. Heidi said, Black Pepper. Oh, we have that too, we have that too, said Cherry. And then finally, it says, Three Deep Breaths. Oh, I can do that. I can deep breathe all day. Cory's meditations taught me really good about deep breathing, Veda said. Mm-hmm, me too. I can definitely take deep, long breaths. All right then, said Heidi. Let's do it. Let's put this magic spell together and get flying, witchy poos. Cherry went to the kitchen. She got the black pepper and the cinnamon out of the cupboard and went running back to where Veya and Heidi were standing on the back garden. And then she forgot that she needed one of Mum's bowls that was going to be a cauldron and she needed a wooden spoon. So she ran back to the kitchen to get a big giant bowl and a wooden spoon. The moonlight was shining down on the back garden. It was very Halloween-y. It had gone dark. They could hear kids laughing and lots of noises on the neighbourhood. It felt like things had started already. Trick or treat was definitely in motion. Cherry said, Come on, we're missing candy collecting. Heidi took out her glass little container with the black glitter in it. She poured some into the bowl and said, This magical stardust will help us fly high up to the stars high in the sky like witches from far and wide eons and eons ago this black pepper will make us fiery and fast and spicy and fun the cinnamon will make us warm as we fly in the sky and then finally three cat hearts all three of the cats put their intentions from their heart and took three deep breaths they all visualized in their minds them flying in the sky flying high being full of joy having fun sharing all the candy out of the cupboard that mama got for Halloween they were hoping she wouldn't notice because they took it all and there was no Halloween candy to hand out for people trick-or-treating at their front door. <gasps> oh dear. But they did have all the candy 
which meant when they were flying through the sky like witches on their brooms. They could deliver candy from up above and hackle like witches. <laughs> Happy Halloween! The cats took their three breaths, sent their visualizations and their intentions and all of the love out of their hearts into the mum's bowl. Heidi was stirring away with one of her paws, using the wooden spoon, stirring, 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 conjuring up the magic from all the witches from ever, like past, present and future. All of that magical power, all of the Halloween magic, all of the full moon magic, all of their cat magic, drumming it and strumming it and stirring it and making it into the bestest magical potion anyone could ever, ever make. All three cats opened their eyes. They felt a vibration under the tush. A vibration that wouldn't normally be there. The vibration felt like a humming, like a throttle, like a, as if they were sat on a motorbike. Vroom, 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 was the sound that they could hear. Cherry looked down. She had a witch's broom between her legs. OMG! She looked at Vea. She looked at Heidi. They both had witch's brooms between their legs. OMG! said Cherry again. Oh, 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 M M M M M M M M G G G G G. It worked! Oh my goodness gracious me, I can't believe it! We're witches! We're actually real witches, guys! Ha 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 ha! She said, trying to make her best witchy hackle sound. Vea said, I, I don't think I feel like that kind of witch. I don't want to hackle. It's a bit scary. I like the more of a... Woo hoo hoo! Hello! I'm your friendly witch from the neighbourhood, kind of sound. Hmm, I prefer that. Cherry said, oh no, I'm a zombie witch. I'm going to hackle. Ha, 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 ha. But then I'm going to say, happy Halloween. So then they'll know I'm not that scary. Heidi said, are we ready? Are we ready to fly, my sisters? And then that was it. They set their intention on flying and it was like their brooms were connected to their thoughts. Like, like you can imagine alien spaceships being connected to the aliens' thoughts. There's no buttons or gear sticks or anything like that. It just flies where they want it to fly. And that's exactly what their witches' brooms were doing. Their witches' brooms were connected to their thinking. They were connected to their minds. So if you thought, go left, the broom would just go left. Go right, the broom would go right. And when Heidi said, are we ready to fly, sisters? All three brooms responded and just took off the ground and flew fast, very fast, very, very fast, to the point where the cats had to really hold on tight up to the sky. This is so amazing. I don't believe it. Cherry was looking down over the crowds of kids and cats and dogs and parents and everyone that was like little ants all over the streets. There was little tiny little candles, there was pumpkin lights, there were house lights, there were flickering lights, there were strobe lights flashing. They were those like, you know, what they called, the things that you snap and break. Chem lights, there were chem light necklaces and bracelets. It was just like a stream of different bright lights. Little ants walking around below with the flashy lights on. They went round and round and round in circles. They flew up to the full moon and it didn't take very long at all. They flew all lined up in front of the full moon at one point and it was like three silhouettes of witches, pointy hats on, on their brooms 
flying in front of the moon. <laughs> said Cherry. Ho, ho, said Freya. She sounded a little bit more like Santa than a witch, but she was happy with that. Santa seemed much more friendlier and gentler. But these weren't scary witches. They were the cats. And the cats aren't scary. They're just fun. They did exactly what they wanted to do. They flew over everyone's houses and trickled down candy from the sky. And as it landed on the floor next to the kids, the kids would look up. And then Cherry would shout, It's us! It's Heidi, Cherry and Bea! And then all the kids in the neighborhood would recognize them and shout, OMG! As if to say, what on earth? How come you guys are flying? They had the bestest time. They did loop-de-loops in the sky. They made figure eights. They made spirals. They made circles. They were having the bestest Halloween ever. After some time, though, they got tired, just like they always do. They landed down on the ground on their back garden, and their brooms just magically disappeared. And what was very, very strange was Heidi's book just disappeared. The spell book, the magical spell book that she got, just disappeared. Poof. Gone. As if they were never to do that again. It was a once in a lifetime. That Halloween where they actually turned into real witches that could fly. This would be a Halloween that they would remember for the longest time. The end.